Okay guys, it's time for some Forge Father on Forge Father crime. We've got the old Forge Fathers over here, and the new shiny, extra cool Forge Fathers over there. So I'm not too confident of my chances since there seems to have been a lot of improvements made to the team and no downgrades. So let's see how it goes, shall we? Okay, the old guard trying to show that they've got something to offer. We've got a bit of double team action here. The jack moved in, the guard moved over there and then came in for a slam on this now departed guard who's over there, suffered an injury for one turn. Then tried to do a bit of shenanigans with the ball. This guy picked it up. Tried to launch it over to this jack, but he failed to catch. Oh dear, oh dear. So the ball's scattered over here, and now it's over to the new blood. Okay, the new Forge Fathers have had their first go, and it was quite fruitful. They managed to kill this poor guard who was standing around here. He got double teamed by two of the guards, and he was just smushed into oblivion, sadly. Then one of his strikers tried to make a run down the pitch. I used my run interference card to try and slam him. But the new grizzled striker rule came into play, and the slam was horribly ineffective because of that dice discrepancy. So that seems to be working quite nicely. Also, we forgot to move the ref before, but I moved it there. Okay, so it was the old guard's turn again. They decided to try and get some sweet, sweet vengeance in the middle here, but failed to kill that guard, despite outnumbering him with the slam. And then they also tried to get this striker down kill him a bit, but sadly, no. No luck whatsoever. That grizzled rule's really helping him out. And then this jack tried to move away from this brawl in the middle to try and go after the ball, but of course he fell over. And the referee has just kind of run around in circles and ended up there. Yeah, it's not looking too healthy for the old guard at the moment. There's still time though, no points yet. Okay, rush four and the new blood. They caused a little bit of a scrum around the middle here, but couldn't shift this guard. He's quite tough. Another bit of a scrum going on over there, which the referee has now joined in with. It looks too much fun for him to ignore. And the ball is still here, apparently. There hasn't been too much action going on with that just yet. There's been a lot of attempted killing. Maybe we'll start going for the ball now. Okay, the old Forge Fathers aren't quite ready to hand over the reins just yet to the new blood. Because... In the middle here, we've got a bit of sandwich action going on and managed to get a revenge kill on one of their guards. And then over here, this striker sprinted off the bench all the way over to the ball, picked it up, doubled, got down here and then used a card for another action to get to that point there and then had a one dice strike attempt to get a single point. So I'm quite happy with that for now. The referee has also moved a little bit here just to Try and slow down that striker a bit when the ball comes on, no doubt. Okay, so, the new blood again. One of these guys charged off the bench into this little scrum here. Didn't do any damage to this striker though. And then over here, I should have mentioned it first of all actually, when the ball came in, it struck this guard squarely in the side of the head, and he went down. Oh dear. The ball then scattered that way, bounced off him, went all the way through to here, which this striker was then able to go through and pick up. With the way cleared a little bit since this guard came over and knocked down this jack, who of course is from the old Forge Father team, so he doesn't benefit from steady like he would do now. So the new rules coming up quite a bit in this so far, and we're seeing the benefits of them. That guy didn't double though, so he didn't get to shoot, so he's just standing there in a little bit of a prone position. So I might be able to flatten him right now. So rush seven... And the old guard, well, they decided to add to this pile a little bit over here. But first of all, this guy tried to stand up. But because he's a little bit worse for wear after last night's party, he didn't quite make it. This guy did manage to stand up, though. And over here, there was a little bit of success. Because this guy managed to leap up from the ground and then in one bounding motion jumped over there and slammed the striker with the ball straight off the pitch and the ball scattered over here. He's going to be off for two turns over there. Over here, this guard went over and tried to slam that guard there. Or is that a jack? Jack. Sure. That's a jack. He tried to slam him. Didn't have any effect though, so it's just a big fat mess over there, and the referee even wants a piece of it. 
So still just 1-0 at the moment. Now the new blood, this striker here, has made a, a push all the way down the pitch to get almost the ball there with the aid of a card to give him a bit of extra distance. And then over here there was a bit of slamming action going on. And the only thing of note was that this guard managed to slam this striker off the pitch for a turn. Well, just looking at the pitch, you might think all the action's going on down here in this big scrum, but no, because a striker came onto the pitch, got behind the enemy striker, and then this jack was able to break away from this guy and give him a bit of a slam, but he could only nudge him out of the way. But that did open up the possibility of this guy going to get the ball, which he did, and then he thought, you know what, wherever I go here, that guard's going to have a, a good charge at me, so I'm just going to go and stand right next to him instead. So if he wants to get any kind of run-up into his slam, he's going to have to spend an action moving away first. So we'll see if that pays off. Well, the strategy didn't quite pay off, because the striker that was there has now been crippled off the pitch there. And that allowed the ball to bounce away. This guy was then able to collect it and score. But before that happened, this guy was knocked over. And you can see that the old Forge Fathers are spending a lot of time on their backs compared to the new ones, which is obviously the big change. And it is quite a big boost that they've had there, just on that small alteration. But this entire half of the pitch is exposed. There's a striker on the bench ready to sprint into the action. So it's all still up for grabs. OK, so a couple of events came in culminating in weird bounce being the current event, which means that this guy was no longer feeling the effects of the party. So with that he was able to jump up, move all the way down here, had a slant at that guy, just gave him a little nudge, and then had another go at that striker there and sent him off for one turn with an injury. The striker who was on the bench came sprinting on, went and picked up the ball successfully, but that was it, he didn't double, so he's kind of stuck in the middle of the pitch with only the referee guarding him now. So we'll see if that is a sufficient roadblock to the death that's probably coming his way quite swiftly. Fortunately, the ref was no help whatsoever, because the striker who had the ball was injured. He's gone off for two turns, which sent the ball out into no man's land, allowing his striker to go and pick it up. But... He attempted to dash just to get into a strike zone and couldn't quite do it, so the ball just pathetically landed next to him. Also, just before that, his guard tried to break away from this scrum and tripped and fell flat on his back. That's the only way I'm getting his players down with that steady rule. So, I've got one turn left to do something. Ball's right there, and I need to make up two points, at least. Okay, I had a master strategy formulated in my mind. It required three key elements to come off. First of all, this guy needed to stand up. Second of all, I needed to slam that guy out of the way. Third of all, he needed to go and get the ball and then successfully throw it to that guy. As you can see, he did stand up, but this guard over here, unfortunately, did not manage to nudge him out of the way failed with two attempts, one of them using a coaching dice as well. Couldn't shift him, so he couldn't clear that avenue. And just ran out of actions, with no way to possibly score at that point. So with that, the game is effectively over, unless the new Forge Fathers make some kind of horrific blunder, <coughs> which is really impossible because they could just leave the ball alone at no risk whatsoever. And in fact, I don't think there's any risk anyway, because I don't have any strikers or coaching dice. So I don't. there's no physical way I could even score in your turn, is there? No. Nope, so it's over. So the new Forge Fathers win. As far as I can tell, there is no reason for anyone to play the old Forge Fathers. So there's no benefit to that team currently. And I like what they've done with them now. As you can see, his team, even though one of them is down right now, Two of them, in fact, but for most of the game, they didn't spend a lot of time on their backs, whereas my team did, and that was quite crucial. I, I do definitely approve of the changes that have been made to the Forge Fathers. I think it's going to make them much more, I don't know, competitive, but it'll definitely make them better, I think. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, I think I think the changes make a big difference. Um, when you look at it in comparison with the other Speed V5 teams, such as the Terratons, you know, they've got ways of making it so that the only disadvantage for them being Speed 5 is they can't dash, uh, and if you try to steal the ball off of them. Forge Fathers, or the Brocker team, now, they don't go down. Yes, you can still hit them from behind, there's their weakness. Yes, you can still steal, there's that weakness. But you don't have to worry about standing back up, unless you try dashing. If you don't do anything risky like that, you're not going down, basically. They're like weebles. So I think, on that note, I think we need to have a, a stout Forge Father-esque handshake. And the new Forge Fathers have it. The torch has been passed, I think. <laughs>